we have two Niala balls and one of them displaying. <gasps> oh, that is one of the best things to see. Look at that. Now I'm saying one of them's displaying. Can you see the male at the back? He's got the silver mane erect. He's being very deliberate at where he's placing his feet. And the other male is not even... Oh, that's why there is another male. There's a third male. I was going to say this younger male in front is kind of saying, no, you're, you're the winner, but there is the rival. So they are slowly dancing around each other. They're sizing each other up, trying to work out who is going to be the winner they're going to do everything they can to avoid a direct confrontation because if they get injured during that confrontation, I'm going to move a bit further along the wall because we're going to lose them behind the bush there. The dance of dominance, very much so. I think we might be better... There should be a nice view. There's actually a fourth male there. That is amazing. Oh, maybe we were better back there. I thought we were going to see them through there. But definitely coined a phrase there, dance of dominance. I, I'm wondering if he has decided that maybe he's not going to be the winner. He has stopped his dance. Oh, there we go. He's starting again. So animals go through these rituals because, as I say, if they actually have a direct fight, those horns could potentially spear the rival male, and if... if there is the loser that does get injured. That could actually impact on their ability to run away from predators. It could actually uh, reduce their ability to find food if, it's, if they're really badly injured. So they go through this ritual to work out who is likely to win, who is the largest, who is the strongest, by showing off everything they have. So by standing with their fur erect it makes them larger and you can see them arching their back as well hi zoe and welcome on board this afternoon and zoe wanting to know is it mating season or do they do this throughout the year so generally speaking niala's there's the other male coming into view again so generally speaking uh it's the spiral horned antelope and the niala don't have a very strict uh, mating season, although <coughs> when the young are born, they will often drop when it's, uh, sorry, <coughs> <coughs> I think I swallowed a bug. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, so yes, they uh, will often drop their young during the, the rainy season when there's plenty of food but there might be a female that's actually an estrus not too far from here and that's triggered these males to come together and uh, fight for her or fight for the right to mate with her but i th i think the male behind i think he's the winner because the other the male that's in front of the shot he seems to have uh, remains stationary for a little while. The hair's gone down on his back. So I think he's kind of realised that perhaps he is not the best male. Oh, and it sounds like that solitary male elephant has found a few friends. So I'm going to see if they do carry on. Uh, there's actually another, there's a fifth male Nyala around here, so I'm wondering if there is a female around that's uh, caused them to all gather here. He's just here on the right here. <laughs> but nowhere near as magnificent with the horns as the other two males who were displaying just now. But I think that bull has found some friends, 
so I think it's worth definitely checking them out.